Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're diving into the basics of coloring illustrations using shadows and highlights in Adobe Illustrator. Open your Adobe Illustrator file with the illustration you want to color. Make sure your illustration is clean and that all your outlines are on one layer. Have two layers created, one being the outline and the other being color which falls underneath. Select everything on the outline layer and hold Option or Alt on your keyboard. Head to the Layers panel and grab the red square and drag it down to the color layer. We've now created a duplicate of the line art. You can hide and lock the outline layer for the time being. Working from the color layer, select all and activate the Live Paint Bucket tool. With this tool activated, select colors from your swatches panel and click on each closed shape to apply a base color. This would be your mid-tone, which falls in between a highlight and shadow color. I will apply pink for the icing on top, beige for the middle layer, and brown for a chocolate color at the bottom. I will then add a light red for the cherries and a grayish color for the plate. Once we've added all the base colors, go to the object menu at the top and click on expand. A box will come up, just have everything clicked on and press on OK. Now you will see that the colors and outlines are grouped together. So let's right click and select ungroup. This allows us to release the outline from the color. Select the outline and delete it. We can then ungroup all the color shapes so that we can work with these shapes individually if needed. Finally, head to the layers panel and unhide the original outline layer that we created. So this is where people struggle. It's to understand where to add highlights and shadows. So a trick I like to use is to imagine a light source coming from anywhere on the page. In this scenario, I added a light source directly on top. This means that naturally things will be lighter at the top and darker towards the bottom. Now I select the cherry shape and press Command or Control C and then Command or Control F twice. What I did was do a copy and paste in front twice in order to create three shapes superimposed on each other. This will create a shape gap. This gap is what we want to keep so that we can make it into a shadow. Activate the Shape Builder tool, select the top two shapes and hold Option or Alt on your keyboard and delete the unwanted parts. Select the leftover shape and make it darker tone to apply a shadow. Another method is to create a shape over the cherry and create a gap this way. Activate the Shape Builder, select the two shapes and delete the unwanted parts. And finally, apply a shadow color at the bottom. To apply a highlight at the top of the cherry, you can create a circle, place it on top, and give it a lighter color for a highlight. I'll just copy these and apply it to all the cherries. Now following these tips, you can easily apply highlights towards the top and shadows towards the bottom. I will speed up the rest of the video so that you can see the final product. Of course, if you enjoy my videos, then please drop a like and subscribe to my channel for many more to come. This will help the channel grow this year and let's go for a record of 300,000 subscribers. If you need any help with anything, you can contact me directly in the comments below or directly on Instagram at Dom Designs. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Cheers everyone.